Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 24th of 2025 is titled GW250114, Rotating Black Holes Collide. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see an illustration showing what might be seen near a black hole around the time of the collision. Now, this is something we have been able to detect for about the last 10 years. It was about 10 years ago that we first detected gravitational waves from merging black holes. Now, gravitational waves were predicted over 100 years ago, Einstein's general theory of relativity. And essentially what it says is that any moving object with mass will give off gravitational waves. So that would be just about anything, you or I, or a planet or a star. But because the gravitational force is so weak, that these waves are incredibly hard to detect. And that's because the waves are not going to be very strong. So the gravitational waves that you or I emit are going to be essentially undetectable. But for more massive objects, like black holes, that are moving very quickly and being highly accelerated, those gravitational waves can now be detected by gravitational wave telescopes. And a primary one of those is known as LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, which has locations in Washington State and Louisiana in the United States. And it has two separate locations because it has to measure such tiny variations that local effects could cause problems. So you'd have uh, something like a slamming door or a truck moving by that could affect the instrumentation, but it is not going to simultaneously do it at two widely separated locations. So this was an unusually strong emission of gravitational waves, which was very important. We've now detected many dozens of these, but this one was specifically strong enough that it was able to measure the rotation of the black hole. So as they're combining, measure the rotation gives us more information to better be able to understand what happens here. Now, while this was just recently detected, and in fact the name of this as GW250114 gives the date of the detection, so that would have been detected on January 14th of 2025. And that is how they're encoded, so it's a relatively recent one, and again one of the more strong ones that has been detected. So this was two black holes, each about 30 times the mass of our sun, and they then merged slowly together as over time and made a much larger black hole, about twice that amount of mass. A little bit of mass is lost, so they were originally about 33 times the mass of the sun each, and the final black hole was about 63 solar masses, and that is converted into energy and released in the gravitational waves when this event occurs. Now, interestingly enough, this occurred a billion years ago. And gravitational waves, like other waves and electromagnetic waves, travel at the speed of light. And therefore, it took a billion years for those gravitational waves to reach us. So this kind of thing is going on all the time in the universe. Very large universe, lots of black holes out there. And when they happen to be binary systems, they can be in a decaying orbit and eventually will merge. However, we can only detect them as they merge, it is only that last instant, as they coalesce into one, that the gravitational waves are strong enough that we are actually able to detect them. So as we can expect with anything else, as the instrumentation gets better, we'll be able to better detect things like this and get a better understanding of these very complex events. So that was our picture of the day for September 24th of 2025. It was titled GW250114, Rotating Black Holes Collide. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.